Hello, 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 and welcome to your character education. My name is Corey, and if this is your first time here, I'm so excited that you've joined us today. Right here is where we learn each month's big idea or value word. And it's a word that when you put it inside of you, it changes the world around you. So let's just jump right in, and why don't you repeat it after me in three, two, one. Creativity, using your imagination to do something unique. Good job, everybody. Corey. Shannon. Water. Okay, yeah, water. Water, please. Oh, for you, yeah, here. Thank you. You must have been busy. Well, good. Nah, yeah, I've definitely been busy. Definitely been busy. What have you been doing? I got my first job. Wait, your first job? How old are you? In... Never mind. Shannon, you got your first job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm the new paper boy. I just finished my first route. Paper boy? Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea what it was either, but apparently... Some people don't like to get their news on television or the internet when it's actually happening. Instead, this is genius, they like to wait at least 24 hours before they can read about it in, a, in one of these, actually. So you're delivering these newspapers, huh? Yeah, uh, but okay, I gotta admit, I, I hit a little bit of a snag. Um, I, I've since... Problem solving skills are a great example of creativity. I thought that I would get some help from everybody out here. Okay, so just to make sure we're on the same page, a paper boy or paper girl is a person that drives around in their car, rides a bike, and delivers newspapers each morning, That's real correct. early. And usually they carry around a bag and they place the papers on the front porch or the driveway of every house, um, or maybe even in the mailbox. Correct. So so what's your problem? Do you not know how to ride a bike? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good there. I've, I've got training wheels, man. Um, you don't have a GPS unit. Nah, no. I just throw the papers at every house I see. Okay, so then what's the problem? The problem is um, I can't throw the papers very far. Like, I need to come up with a, a better way to throw them. Oh. Well, why don't you just show me what you're doing? Okay, so can I... Uh, Ooh, can I go out there and, and show you? It'll, it'll make it easier. I guess so. Okay, great. Thanks. Hang on. Okay. Okay. So far, this is, uh, this is how I've been doing it. Uh, you ready? Mm -hmm. um, oh. Hang on. Careful. All right, here we go. <sighs> extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read, okay. all, read okay. all about it. I, extra. I, I think I see the problem. Um, come here, man. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're just, <laughs> they're impossible to throw. They just keep exploding into a million pieces every time I throw them. It's so frustrating. Right. Well, um, this isn't like super creative or anything, but okay. have you thought about maybe putting each paper into a plastic bag before you throw them or maybe wrapping a rubber band around it? Corey, that is genius, man. How in the world did you think of that? That's how my paper comes. Well, at least it used to come that way. <laughs> well, um, actually, um, I think you're on my route now, so maybe tomorrow you might actually get uh, a paper. Or wait, um, hang on. Does this... Just a second. Does that work? Oh, thank you. No, I... no problem. This will be great. <laughs> Now that we've helped Shannon out with his problem, um, let's learn some more about creativity in this next video.